How's it going guys? Back in the shop working on another little uh, fabrication project today and thought I'd, show, thought I'd shoot a video working on something a little bit different than what I've done before. Um, so I picked up last fall, picked up this motorcycle. It's a 2017 Kawasaki Versus. Um, nice bike actually, really clean, low miles, like 20, I don't know, 2,500 miles or something. So pretty excited to put some miles on it this summer. But the first thing I needed to do, um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I live on a gravel road and these bikes come with just, you know, pretty much, not slicks, but street tires. So I wanted to get something just a little bit more aggressive um, to handle the gravel road driving that I do on a, I'll, every time I'll drive, ride it, basically I'm gonna be on a gravel road. So I uh, wanted to do that, I need to change the oil. Um, I'm gonna do a couple other projects. I'm gonna actually, um, I've got like a, they call it a skid plate, but basically uh, for me, it's just gonna be uh, protection for the front of the engine and the oil filters right there. And so the skid plate that I'm gonna put on there is basically just protection for the, for the oil filter in the front of the engine for rocks getting kicked up off the gravel. But all that being said, I need a way to be able to lift this bike up and I don't, I don't own anything currently. So I decided that rather than buy a stand, um, you know, the good quality stands are like 150, 60 bucks, something like that. The rear, um, you know, the, the swing arm stands, I guess you call it, or I see them called paddock stands, whatever. Um, and I thought I could probably build one. So I started digging around. My goal here is to try to do, try to build this with just stuff that I have laying around the shop. I did buy some wheels. I think these, I spent $6 on, on two of these wheels. They came, they're, they're obviously made for going under something, but I just stripped the wheels off because this, this is all I really want. But my, the primary, um, the primary uh, body of this thing is gonna be made out of, I've got this one by two uh, rectangular uh, tubing. It's 3 16 material that I was gonna use for another project and didn't use it, so I've got that left over. I had a six foot piece and then I've got all kinds of bits of, you know, angle iron and plate and a lot of, a lot of other things laying around. So just to kind of show you what I've done so far. So, um, so probably a little bit hard to explain if you haven't seen one of these stands before, but I've already, I've kind of estimated how long I need this to be. Um, and I should say too, my first plan, actually, I was just going to make, I was going to make this stand specific to this bike. So what I was actually going to do was just take this tubing and I was actually just gonna notch the inside wall of that tubing so that it would fit up underneath, under the spool, which I had to buy these two. These were, I think I paid $9 for a set of those off of Amazon. I don't even know if I'll leave them on the bike actually. I might just put them on for maintenance and take them back off. But anyway, I was gonna make it specific, uh, the width of it I was gonna make specific to this bike. But the commercial ones that you buy are all adjustable and I thought you know what I bet I can make one adjustable so um, so I'm gonna set this thing up and if it works out the way that I'm hoping it will I've um, well you can see what I've already done here so I took I kind of what, what I was first gonna tell you is I kind of guesstimated on how long I needed these um, these down legs to be of course the bikes on the kickstand so um, when it's tip when it's straight up and down it's gonna be more like that, but that's kind of the angle that I, when I was looking at, looking at YouTube videos, kind of the angle that I was seeing um, people demonstrate the, the commercial ones. It looked like it was about like that. So when you pivot it up, you know, you'll gain height to actually lift the bike up. So I can't remember, I think I made that 13 inches or something. If anybody's interested, I can, I can uh, put down in the comments what the dimensions were. So I got that cut. Um, and then I took, it couple things so far. So I took, um, got this one inch bar stock here. That's also 3 16. So I cut that and made a cap here. And I think I actually have another one here somewhere. Oh yeah, it's right here. I guess I already, I already welded the, the bolt into it. So also I've got some, um, these are all 5 16 bolts that I'm using, they're all too long, so I cut them off to be three quarters of an inch. Um, cut these caps out, welded the bolt to the bottom of the cap, and then I welded that cap to the top of the tube like that, basically. 
So then I also took some chunks of angle iron and did the same thing. Welded a bolt in the bottom of the angle iron there. And then as you can see, obviously I welded the angle iron onto there. And then this is where it might be a little bit hard to explain, but so the adjustment um, factor on this, so I'm gonna take another piece of angle iron and I'm gonna slot it so it slides over those two bolts there, those two studs. And then I'll be able to slide back and forth like this. So, you know, for larger, wider bikes, I can be slid out. Or for narrower, for narrower, narrower axle bikes, I can be slid in. And I've got to make um, kind of a something here to kind of capture, capture those spools when I lift it up. So this is kind of what I've done so far. And like I said, I thought I'd just kind of shoot um, a video. You can see me kind of assembling and putting the rest of this together. I still need to weld. I'm gonna weld a bolt in the bottom of that one. And I'm hoping my, my uh, the only thing I'm not, I'm pretty sure that I can make this work. If these, like for example, if these aren't long enough, so my, my plan, I should say, and I don't have that hardware in here, but I already picked up some like three inch bolts to go through here. So uh, I'm just gonna drill a hole through the bottom of this, and then I'm gonna mount that wheel there. So there'll be one on either side, so that when you pivot it up, it can roll in that wheel. and I already figured worst case scenario, if I made these too short, I can easily just put a little, you know, weld a little extension plate on there to get those light, those, those wheels down further, but I'll see once I kind of get going. Um, but, but I'm, I'm hoping that this six, what I started with was a six foot piece. I hope that's enough to, um, be able to get everything put together. So I, rather than me trying to, you know, draw a picture, explain what I'm going to do, I'm just going to build this thing and you can see uh, what I end up with in the end. And with any luck, it'll actually work. And I, um, I got these, I, want, I need to get these tires off because it's, the weather's turning really nice and um, I need to get those off so I can get the new tires on. So anyway, I'll, uh, I'll shut up, I'll film some of this and see what we end up with.
All right, so pretty good progress made here. I basically have this main frame section is just mocked up right now. Um, everything with the with my adjustment brackets, um, that's all done, and I think that's going to work really well. Actually, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. I've got it adjusted to fit this bike, and what I was unsure about was where where to actually mount the frame on these legs here. Um, that obviously the higher that I the higher that I mount those changes the, the angle um, that it's going to sit on the floor. So the higher that these, the higher that I put this this up on the leg, uh, the more it's going to kick out here. Um, but I was also worried about having enough clearance to the back of the tire. You know, I'd said before that I started with a six foot piece, and I and I wasn't sure if I'd have enough length. And it's perfect. I got a good few inches back there. Um, even when I lift it up, I think I've got some pretty decent clearance. So I think right there at that point, the way it's mocked up is I think I'm, how I'm going to probably leave it. So time now, I'm going to go ahead and finish up. I need to weld up the frame here good. Uh, like I said, I just got that tacked here on the legs and then at the top. And then I need to figure out a uh, some kind of a, a handle system to put on here. Um, so I've got more leverage to be able to pick the bike up. Um, once I get that figured out, I think we're ready to actually give this thing a test run and see if it'll, I know it'll pick the bike up, but see how it works. I think it's going to work pretty well. So let me uh, do a little bit more welding and figure out this handle and then I'll come back to you. All right, guys, so there's the final product. All finished up, coat of primer, a couple coats of uh, metallic colored paint, and staying with my theme, I just used stuff that I had laying around, so I didn't buy any paint. So all total, we are, um, like I said, I think I've got like six bucks, six and a half dollars in those wheels, and um, everything else I just had on hand. And it's, it worked out really well. Actually, really pleased with, with the results. Um, I ended up doing, I wasn't sure how I was gonna do a handle here. Uh, I had this piece of one inch tubing laying around. And first I was gonna bolt it on, and I was gonna weld it on. Um, but just to keep things kind of small and um, compact, I just took some, took some angle iron, and I basically just cut that and, and built some sleeves for it. Put a little stopper on the end back there. So now I can just take my handle and it slides right up in there. So now I've got, I can lift with it and it's short enough so that it doesn't hit the ground. I can get my hand under there. Uh, even when it's, when the bike is jacked up, I can, I can take that out. So that works really well. So I'm pleased with it and I'll set the camera up here and I'll give you a demonstration on the actual motorcycle. So as you can see, it lifts up really nice. I've got probably, oh, I don't know, I've probably got, I suppose, three inches of clearance off the ground there for that back tire, which is about perfect. Now I can easily remove that rear wheel. I can easily do chain maintenance, which living on a gravel road is kind of an important thing to stay up on. Um, so super pleased with that. So there you go guys, I'm really happy with the results that I got there. Works perfect and uh, didn't cost me hardly anything, which is even, even better yet. And I'm ready to do maintenance now and get the bike ready for spring. So I uh, appreciate you guys watching the video. If you're interested in um, 
seeing the dimensions, I can, I can put something together. Leave me a comment down below if you'd like and I'll put something together, uh, giving the dimensions in case anybody's interested in building something like this. Uh, like the video if you haven't. Hit subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.